up guys welcome back to the channel this is your boy mustang editing thank you for tuning in another video uh, i pretty much just wanted to get into dev and explain why i haven't been driving my car lately and what's been going on and if i have any plans uh to moving forward since a lot of things have been happening so let me show you guys let me explain okay so long story short um i was doing a pull on the freeway uh i was already i believe we had done one pull so i was on fourth gear and then we're, we're getting ready to do a, a second pull so i needed to downshift real quick so i made a mistake from going from fourth to second uh with the high rpm so it seems like i snapped i i snapped not completely the belt but i was like half i completely fell lots of power in the car and everything so and i didn't stop so i kept driving so pretty much the other half of the belt started getting chewed up and then it finally snapped and then it, it broke a few things so uh we pulled over side of the freeway and just waited for triple a to come pick me up and that's when i saw um the the bell snap and then a few other parts went bad so when i took it home ordered all the parts i ended up uh, replacing i replaced uh a few pulleys i, re I replaced i believe i replaced like two pulleys uh no so i replaced the pulley the tensioner and i replaced the uh, the belt itself so in in theory everything that, that broke i fixed but this is what got me thinking again um because my car hasn't been running good for a while now and i never was able to figure it out so i came to the conclusion that maybe i have like a bad head gasket or something because uh, let me see if I can show you guys, but like the cap, it's always milky, so water's getting in the block somehow, but let me show you guys. Alright, let me see if I'm able to show you guys since it's kind of dark in here, but, so here's the oil cap. You can start seeing, I just turned on the car, and every time I open this, I clean it up. You can start seeing already, there's like, I don't know what you call it, gunk or residue, I'm not too sure, but I'm I'm assuming this is like water getting to the block. So I'm at the point where I don't want to keep just fixing one thing at a time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, between me and a, a buddy of mine that we're talking about, we're going to just pull the motor and inspect anything that's wrong and I'm just going to build it. I'm going to do, hopefully, a forged bottom end. Uh, we're talking about maybe, maybe camps. I don't, I don't know. I didn't really want them, but I mean, if I'm able to... If they're gonna benefit me, uh, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely add them. Even even though with the blower, you're not gonna be able to hear it. So that's the route I'm going now. I just want to pretty much, I want a nice reliable, well, nice reliable car is the goal. But as long as it drives fine and it's not constantly having little issues, I'll be happy with it. Because at this point, it's like every time I took it out, something broke, something's loose. And it's constant so at this point I just want to take out the motor fully fix everything replace anything that needs to be done like I'm even gonna do coils spark plugs is easy maintenance but I'm gonna do coils I don't think I've ever done that so when I have it back everything should be fine I'm even gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at my clutch if it's worn out I'm gonna replace it if it's not worn out uh, I'm just gonna replace the the throttle bearing and I believe I wanted to replace the clutch fork and I'll inspect the wire so I'm pretty much gonna drop everything inspect everything and just just finish it that's what I really want so I'm back and forth with my buddy figuring out what kind of setup we're gonna do because I mean we're trying to make this not super fast but make it fun enjoyable keep up with all my other buddies that they're souping up their cars but uh, for today's video, it's a little bit different. Let me show you guys what I'm up to. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. Since lately, I mean, the, the what happened happened a few months ago, so I haven't really been driving the car. Even though it starts and it drives fine, it's just kind of like, I, I, at one point I was over it. So I just let it cool down and I'm, I'm, I'm back to wanting to drive it and enjoy it. So I'm gonna start replacing some parts. And I also decided, I. I took up the insurance and I didn't want to like just 
since I'm just parked and start paying, so I think it's a perfect time to start fixing a few things that I had. I have a few parts that I have that I already have that I'm trying to replace, so I'm gonna start today. Let me show you guys. So currently, right now, I have uh, stock stock springs that I cut, I believe, one coil, and in the front, I was running some, I think, Raceland coilovers, but I'm gonna take them off today. I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on some Fox Body four cylinder uh, springs and then I'm gonna put back my Maxima Motorsports caster camera plates because uh, the guys online have been telling me that, at least for a budget budget drag setup, um, Fox front, front spring stock rear, uh, rear springs cut one coil are really, really good. So that's the setup I'm doing for now, it's a temporary. And at the same time, I've never been a fan of, what would this be, negative camber? Yeah, I believe it's negative. It kind of sits in. I don't like it. So I'm going to go back with caster, uh, maximum motorsports caster camera plates. And um, I'm going to order a bump steer kit. So it helps me drive better because when you hit a bump, it doesn't go to the side. And at the same time, it's going to help have a pretty good alignment. So let's get to it. I'm gonna hopefully it's not too hard since I don't have a power tool. Hopefully this gets loosened up. So I went ahead and removed the wheels from both sides and just a little recap of what I currently have. So these are Mach 1 uh, front brake setup, 13 inch rotors and uh, Raceland coilover. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those and put back my, my Tokido Blue front struts and I'm going with uh, Fox Body. For, for banger springs guys check this out this is where you gotta get creative I jacked up the arm a little bit to see if it would help me but it actually didn't it was worse but what I figured out I put a crescent wrench right here to the side of the car in the solid metal and then used the the other half for the jack to kind of give me what do you call it leverage and look it worked so now I'll just take this off. Just be careful because it could have pressure, but it's loose already. So guys, you got to get creative when you don't have tools. Alright, so I went ahead and removed the caliper. I left the bracket. I don't think I need to remove it. But check this out. Look what I was checking. Look at the actual coilover. Let's see if we can see. You see the bolt? Make sure you always check your car. Make sure everything's on there right. It looks like there's a gap. It's not good. 
and the bottom one, I don't know if you can see it, let me go this way. So make sure you're always checking your car, make sure all the bolts are tight because this could be dangerous since this controls your whole front suspension. But I'm going to go ahead and, since I removed, loosened up the top, I'm going to go ahead and remove these. And it should, it should just drop, so it's not too difficult. Let me go ahead and do it. Okay guys, check it out. So it took me a while, but I was able to remove the coilover. I usually put everything back on so parts don't get lost. So right here, everything's taken off. There's the, the brake. It's pretty dirty actually. But here's my Tokido Blue, the spring, and Maximum Motorsports. I'm gonna go ahead and unassemble that. And go ahead and get it ready for install. Let me see if I remember how to do all this. It's been a while. All right, so I had forgotten how these plates go. I think I got it correctly. Let me see if I can able to explain to you guys real quick the way they go. So you have these you have these plates that go through the bottom, and the way I saw online that they go is the driver's side has like a little cut right here, and then I believe this is aims it. So it has another cut here. So front driver and it has a little curve here so this goes here so but I'm working on the passenger side currently so I already went ahead and put the plate from the bottom and when you put the plate up there's some some little spacers that look like this that you pretty much it, you put it in between uh, the top plate and then the bottom plate I don't know if you can see but there's like a little gap and then you have the, these plates. I was like, okay, so how does this plate go? So hopefully I'm right. It has this little, these, this part is like longer on this side and longer on this side. So again, I'm assuming this side is driver's right, passenger side. And on this one that has it on the left is the driver's side. So if I'm wrong, someone correct me, but I believe that's how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of not fully tighten it down, but I'm gonna tighten these and then I'm gonna slide in the the strut. All right guys, so I've been working on the car pretty much all day. It honestly didn't go as planned, but let me show you guys what happened. So I already got everything back on. I ended up putting actually my original factory springs, not the four cylinder Fox body like I wanted to. For whatever reason, they just wouldn't go in. I put them here side by side. This is the original one and this is a Fox body, I believe. I have no idea if they're even any different at all, but these just wouldn't go on. And this went on fast. I mean, I did have my father's help, but I didn't. Str we didn't struggle with this one. I struggled all day for whatever reason. So this is all on and bolted. Caster camera plate. It's on and bolted. So at least for today, this is all I'm gonna do. It took me almost all day. This side is still still the coilover. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I honestly didn't go as planned. I didn't, I didn't finish everything I wanted to do. But hey, it happens. The good thing is I don't have to drive this car. It's, it's, it's my, it's my little race car or weekend car. But I have a daily driver. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Hopefully, better stuff.